My parents got me a guitar when I was a baby as a toy. I was uh, six months old and since then I'm still playing the guitar. <laughs> um, I started playing professionally maybe at 16 when I went through put myself through college doing covers gigs two, three nights a week, two hours, two and a half hours. Yeah, so it's a long journey, but a uh, uh, very cool, very cool one, nice one. I had an accident when I was 16 months old, or 18 months old. It, so it was, I was so young, it didn't really, I didn't even notice really. I just learned how to play like most people play like this and I play like that. Uh, how do I define my music style? It's got the passion of a hard, hard aggressive folk. It's got a band sound, sound behind it. It plays with a lot of new styles, uh, melodic old styles. It's got jazz, folk, rock, and some of the beats are funk, though I don't like funk. I, of course I like funk, but I don't listen to it. And it's got, it's fresh, I hope. Carry it away from your heart. Carry it to me and I will take it. Take it apart, break it apart. Every little thing that comes between us doesn't really matter anymore. So stop and run and stop and run. Begin where you are. Come back, oh, come back. Oh, come uh, the main influences and inspirations of this last album surroundings, atmosphere. Um, there's a lot of field recordings on the record. Um, I left the mic open so you can hear the world happening around. Um, so that's a huge inspiration, lyrically and melody-wise. I collected thoughts and ideas from a lot of different people, like um, homeless people, very rich people, priests, um, police, men and women. It was um, just strong characters, very strong characters that I met and they would give me little nuggets of information about their life or their how they feel about the world and I took that. I recorded it in uh, three different places in uh, Ireland, uh, England and Berlin. Uh, Connemara was in the middle of nowhere in a snowstorm in December and I went for 10 days to write and when I got there it was so alone and scary and isolated that I couldn't write anything. It just felt weird. Um, so I went from solitude to back to London and it was crazy. It was during before and after the riots and the whole city was on on fire and it was electric you know it was it was incredible so there like there would be so many people in my house just 16 people coming and hiding in the house and sleeping on the floor and stuff so i invited my friends over and pressed record and captured this these raw moments of not sounds energy it was so quiet after the riots it was so quiet it was just raw energy. Um, so I hope <clears throat> that you can hear that, you know. And then in Berlin, we did the studio tracks in Berlin, like full drum kit, full band. It's an old GDR building, like a lot of 
World War II propaganda, a lot of World War II history. Um, so sitting in that room, this wonderful room, it's huge. It's a, it's a broadcasting, a radio broadcasting building. So it's built for sound, it's built to sound good. Um, yeah, it was very inspirational. Yeah. This last album is different to the first two, um, simply because everything has to change, everything must move. Um, you, I don't want to repeat myself uh, a third time. And for this record, I just said, I'll slow down, I'll simplify, really. Because uh, my last two records were like kind of, I don't know, positive, aggressive. <laughs> and um, they were f fast moving and a lot of time changes and um, a lot of excited feelings and lyrics and that. Um, whereas this one, I wanted to say too, too much, so I simplified and slowed down and just tried to say it in the, in the shortest terms possible. I've got a headrest, it lies on your breast. You've got a chokehold in a life of less interest. And woe is a girl full of born on a Tuesday. My favorite live experience was at an open air show in uh, in Worms in Germany. It was a, a wonderful night, you know, the end of the summer. And uh, it was a sold out show and it was one of the first sold out shows I ever had. So it was special. It was like, um, and it was a great, great feeling. I just stood on the stage and then turned around and uh, there's the audience and I turned around and held the guitar and I, sta and I stage dived. They held me up. They all like, the audience lifted me up. I just went back. The audience lifted me up and I was playing the guitar and uh, I, I looked up to the sky and there was a million stars in the sky and it was incredible, you know. Oh, every little thing I could divide us Doesn't really matter cause I just don't care So stop running, stop running Come in somewhere I come back home Um, the idea be behind uh, the videos, I think it depends on a lot of things, like it depends on the people that we work with and how much time we have and how much we can make with a certain budget. It, uh, Encore, we made this like documentary, rockumentary, mockumentary, songumentary, um, it was called Encore, yeah. and. Um, it's five songs based around a, a kind of a short story, a movie. It's kind of like spending a little bit more time with us than just seeing like five songs with five videos. It was, we made it in one area. We made it in the, uh, in the area in Nalepestrasse, which was part of the German studio, which we recorded the album in. Beautiful area. We just said, let's make reality and fantasy kind of meet somewhere. So uh, we rented a wolf and we rented cockroaches and other insects and um, a lot of vodka and it is as random as it sounds. It's a, it's a, it's a random documentary. It means everything and nothing. <laughs> I would like to um, set up a school. This is one thing that I'd love to do. And just have rooms full of instruments and sit in, and a lot of the classes are just 
jam sessions um, where you get some business classes, some songwriting or guitar playing classes, instrument classes, anything. I'd love to set up a school, you know. And someday maybe I'll, I'll have some children. That would be nice too. Um, but I think the goal that I'm trying to to make every day is to keep doing it and enjoy myself. That's my main goal, yeah. Paste in a face smile All the crows their face You're running out your cold heart And never gaining pace And can you feel me loving you? I can hear you loving me